In this video we're going to derive the pullback or vector Jacobian product rule for the softmax operation which is typically found in classification tasks in that it maps a vector of logit values that can range between minus infinity to plus infinity to a vector of discrete probabilities. So each entry in the output vector y ranges from 0 to 1 with the additional property that the summation of the entries is 1. And this mapping from x to y is performed by a fraction, so we get the i-th entry in the output vector by raising e to the i-th entry in the x vector, and then divided by the normalization, which is given as the summation over the exponential applied to each entry in the x vector. Now we are in a reverse mode automatic differentiation setting and want to backwardly propagate cotangent information from the output vector, so a y bar, to cotangent information on the input vector, an x bar. This is what we will be doing in this video after the intro. The channel sponsor Pasteur Labs is currently hiring SIML and software engineering positions. Check out pasteurlabs.ai slash careers for more details. In order to perform this backward propagation, we need to evaluate the vector Jacobian product or we need to find a closed form expression for it. And in symbolic notation, it reads that we get x bar vector transpose if we take y bar vector transpose and multiply it with the Jacobian, which is the derivative of vector y with respect to vector x. So y is an n-dimensional vector, x also, so this derivative yields an n by n-dimensional Jacobian matrix. And if we left multiply this n by n-dimensional Jacobian matrix with the n-dimensional cotangent, we get an n-dimensional row vector. And then in order to go back to the column vector, we have this transposition here. However, here I think it makes more sense to derive the closed form expression in index notation. So let's write that down as well so that we get the x bar index k if we take the Jacobian in index notation, so derive yi with respect to xk and multiply it with yi bar. And then we have the Einstein summation convention in that we multiply and sum over the indices that appear multiple times. So we have i here, so we sum over all i's. This is summing out the i index and we are left with index k. And this is the natural translation from the left multiplication of a vector with a matrix in that we sum over the numerator in this uh, Jacobian expression. And in order to find the closed form expression for the VJP, we need to find the expression for the Jacobian matrix. And this is what we've already done in the push forward video. And there we found that this is y i delta i k with the Kronecker delta that is zero if the indices don't match and one if they match minus y i y k. And if you want more detail on how to derive that, I would recommend to see the push forward video on the forward mode automatic differentiation aspect of it. It is linked in the top right. So now in order to find the closed form expression, we will plug the Jacobian in. So we will get x bar index k is in brackets yi delta ik minus yi yk multiplied y bar i. And then we multiply out the bracket and get yi yi bar delta ik minus yi yi bar yk. And then we perform an index swap according to the Kronecker delta moving in this product the indices from i to k. So we will get yk y bar k minus yi, y bar i, yk. And this is the closed form expression for the VJP in index notation, so that we get the cave entry of the cotangent input by taking the cave entry of the primal output, so from the original softmax computation, so these are the probability values, multiplying it with the cotangent on this cave entry, and then subtracting the cave entry of the primal output multiplied with the inner product between the primal output and the cotangent output. And I think it makes more sense to write this in symbolic notation, so with vectors and matrices. So let's say in symbolic notation and 
in the symbolic notation, we get that the cotangent x bar vector is here. We do an element wise product because we have a full vector on the left hand side. And then each entry in this full vector is the multiplication of its corresponding entry in the primal output and the cotangent output. So here we have vector y element wise multiplied with vector y bar and then minus here we get the inner product, which is vector y transpose with vector y bar. And the inner product gives us a scalar. And this one we can use to scale the vector y. And with this, we have the symbolic expression for the closed form vector Jacobian product. And this allows us to write down the full pullback rule. So what is implemented in automatic differentiation engines. And that one reads that we backwardly propagate over the softmax function, which has as primal inputs the vector x and as cotangent output a vector y bar by first computing the primal, which is applying the softmax on x, so straightforwardly. And this gives us the primal output y. And then we get the cotangent input by performing what we just derived, which is y element wise multiplied with y bar minus y transpose y bar multiplied with y. Let's close that down. And this is the cotangent input x bar. And here we see that in order to get the cotangent input, we reuse the primal computation. So in order to propagate, in order to backwardly propagate, we also need this primal computation. This channel is supported by Pasteur Labs and the Institute for Simulation Intelligence. Click the link in the video description to find out more how they merge machine learning and simulation in order to reimagine the scientific method. Also a big thanks to all my Patreons. If you also want to support my vision of free education on advanced mathematical topics, you find the link to the Patreon page down in the video description. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. There is more awesome content on automatic differentiation and these primitive rules. Here you will find similar videos and I hope to see you in one of the next videos.